kids, my name is Joycey Horsey. Are you ready to read with me? Yes, yes, yep, yep, yes. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, let's go. Before we begin our story, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Today, we are going to read the book Peppa's Space Trip and Teddy's Day Out. Are you ready? Let's begin. Peppa's Space Trip Peppa and her friends are going to make a time capsule. We'll put special things in this box and then we'll bury it in the school garden, says Madam Gazelle. The time capsule will stay in the ground for a long time. In the future, people will dig it up and they will know how we lived, says Madam Gazelle. I think we will all live on the moon in the future, says Peppa. After they bury the time capsule, Daddy Pig digs up the one all the grown-ups made with Madame Gazelle a long time ago. Madame Gazelle takes everything out of the old time capsule. A comic, some music, and a toy, she says. Just like the things we put in ours, says Peppa. Making time capsules is such fun and finding them is even better. Teddy's Day Out Today, Peppa and her family are having a picnic. Zoe Zebra and her daddy, Mr. Zebra, the postman, are coming too. Look, Zoe, I've brought Teddy with me, says Peppa. And I've brought my monkey, says Zoe. George says, Grrr, dinosaur. Zoe Zebra has got a toy picnic set. We've got pretend cake, she says. The ducks don't want pretend cake. Oh, well, that means there's more for Monkey, Mr. Dinosaur, and Teddy, says Peppa. It's home time for Peppa and her family. Zoe Zebra packs her toy picnic set away. Oh, no, she says. Peppa has forgotten her Teddy. Poor Peppa is very upset. Mr. Zebra the postman takes Zoe to Peppa's house. Special delivery for Miss Peppa Pig, says Zoe. Hooray! It's Teddy, says Peppa. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button. See you next time. Bye.